Hey everyone, welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. Today I've got some exciting news. I'm installing a JTEC Photonic 7 watt laser onto my X Carb, and I'm starting the journey down this road with the lasers, and I hope that you will follow this journey with me. So let's get started. Hi everyone, today I'm going to be installing the laser onto my X car. This laser is from JTEC Photonics and I'm happy to be able to say that they provided the laser to me. So we're going to unbox everything and let's just take a look to see what we've got. We've got all the mounting hardware and the instructions. This is the laser lens itself. Uh, that looks like the driver board. We'll get into this more in a moment. So this is the power supply for the laser. Of course we've got all the cables that we need. And you must have these. These glasses are very, very important to be able to have and wear any time that you're working around the laser. Now you also have an extra lens for the laser should you need it. That's a nice feature also. Now the laser that they provided to me from JTEC Photonics is the new 7 watt laser and you'll notice the fans already installed. It already has a shield on it. Everything's attached. And we've got the wiring harness all pre-assembled. So everything is ready to go. Now I just took the laser uh, driver board out. And everything, again, is very nicely contained. This box is actually 3D printed with the JTEC Photonics on it. But everything's already pre-assembled. We have the off and on switch. We also have the key here. So you can see this is a very, very nice. Now the mounting bracket for this that goes onto the x carve itself is made, again, out of the 3D printed material. And this actually mounts to the front of the x carve And I have magnets in here that they've already put in. So this laser can actually be taken on and off very easily. So when it's not in use, you can just slip off this and continue on and just unplug it. That's a really, really nice feature, guys. Now, on my x carve, I have the little tool shelf that I've already removed the screws, and I'm going to take that off to be able to get to the power uh, pr surge protector and the various cords. And it'll make it easier to be able to get to the back of the X controller to be able to attach the wiring that I need to attach, which would be right down into this area. And please remember, safety first. Anytime you're working around the laser, you must protect your eyes. So this is the layout of everything that came with the package. That's the laser itself, the mounting bracket. Of course, we got the power cord in the back, along with the driver and the safety goggles again extremely important all of the cables are here ready to go along with the zip ties so it is a very very complete package with everything that you need to be able to assemble the laser and the first thing i want to do is just go ahead and mount the laser mount to the spindle mount and to be able to do that First thing we're going to do is loosen these two M4 screws. 
and we'll take that out. And it's the bottom two screws that we are removing. And then this mount actually fits on the front side of this. And they supplied the M4 screws that we need. And I'm gonna put that right in here, slot it in place. Now I'm just barely snugging this up right now because we're going to need to adjust the height. Now on the left side, they have the two screws that are supplied and we're gonna put those right in to this area. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slip the laser on here. Now this is magnetic, which is absolutely fantastic. This will need to be an eighth of an inch above the work that we're actually doing the laser engraving on. Right now these screws are loose so that I can move this up and down because I need to be able to adjust the laser height. Now to adjust the height, we need this laser to be just below the bottom of this spindle. And you can see right now that this is actually higher than the spindle and this is at the lowest point. So what we're gonna do is just take off this spindle nut. And now you can see that this laser is actually lower than the uh, router. So I have the uh, mount set at the lowest point and I'm going to go ahead and tighten the screws now. You don't need to have this extremely tight. You want to keep in mind this is 3D printed plastic and it's very durable but you can break it. So you just want to be able to snug it up and that is it. Then I'm going to put these small nuts on the back side just to make sure that it stays in place. Okay, we'll go ahead and tighten these. And that should be plenty tight. There we go. And by the way, the nut on here requires a 7 millimeter wrench. Now the next thing we're going to do is run the long cables and I'm going to go ahead and put them inside of the drag chain. And to be able to do that, we just need to be able to open this up. And I'm going to start laying this wire right inside here. Find a nice spot for it. I'll make this a little bit longer than what I need. There we go. And I want to work this all the way around until I get this back over by the controller. I'll just open all these up, lay them down inside, and then I'll lock them back in place. Once I reach the bottom, the first wire, the small wire for the fan, actually fed through quite easily. There was enough room in there to be able to feed this through without even opening the little covers on the um, drag chain. What I'm going to do is loosen the drag chain and take it off for a moment because even though I was able to get the one wire to feed through, the second wire with this larger connector is making it where I really can't get in there and slide it through. So I'm just going to take this off for just a moment slide it through and put it back on. Now with this loose, I can go ahead and open up the rest of these covers. The little covers open, it gives me room because the wires drop down and I can easily feed it through. There we go, that's what I needed. Now I didn't need to open all of them I just needed open enough and to where I could loosen up the wires a little bit and feed this on through. So now I'm just going to go ahead and close these doors back. Those were already in place. So now I'm going to screw this drag chain 
back into position. All right, that really was not hard at all. Now to complete this part of the installation with these wires, I'm just gonna use these little zip ties. And again, these zip ties came in the package. So it makes it where it's very convenient. Again, everything that you need is contained. So I'm gonna put these on and then I'll end up over on the second drag chain. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna open up these little doors and feed the wire right into position. And as I do that, I can go ahead and close the doors back and that'll help hold it in place too. And we'll go ahead and open up some more. Now once I opened up all of these, it made it where the wires would actually drop down lower and I was able to fish this one right on through and because it gives me plenty of room now and I did not have to open up every single one of them. And with this other one, it's doing the same thing. The wire's low enough where I can just slip this through. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera. And I'll have this done in just a moment. And we'll just start closing up all of these doors. So now we got the wires out. So now we'll just go ahead and close up the rest of these doors. And I did have to open that last door. But now getting it back closed is really relatively easy. And there we go. That was the last one. So that makes for a very nice installation. And the last thing that I'll do is just come across and clip these little guys off. Okay, the next thing that we have to do with these ends is just connect them in. Now the small connector is the fan and that plugs in on this outlet right here and for the laser itself we'll plug in on this left side there we go so that part's connected I'm just going to go ahead and tie up these wires so they're nice and neat and we'll move on to the next phase Now the next wire connects to this third one over where it says spindle PWM. The red wire will connect into this one and then the black wire, the ground wire, connects right here to the ground. Now this next part is really not necessary, but it's something that I actually like to do. For me, putting the solder onto the tips of the wires, makes it where the wires stay together. And I don't know, I think it actually makes for a better connection. And it really doesn't take a lot of time. It actually takes longer to heat up the soldering iron than it does to actually solder the um, tips of the wires. And just like that, that's done, that's all I need. Now I wanna zoom in real close so you can see this and get these wires out of the way as much as I can. And you can see that the ground wire, which is black, goes into the first terminal from the right. And the red wire goes into the spindle, which is the PWN. And then from there, it just connects right up in here to the back of the driver. Okay, I've got my driver all in place. And I went ahead and secured all the wire, the excess wire. I just rolled up and put the ties on it to hold it in place. And I have the power cable in. And all my power is underneath this little table. And this gives me the extra storage space that I need. 
Okay, so I've got that back in place now. So everything is completed. Now for the cord management, I did mine a little bit different than what the instructions called for. I actually have the wires tied, zip tied to the power cord of the router itself. And that actually works well for me because that way I can actually disconnect it from here. And this zip tie is actually going to go away. I'm going to put a Velcro strap on here so that when I'm using the router for the CNC, I'll just take off the laser, disconnect it, and take the cord and store this separately so I won't have to worry about all the dust and dirt getting into this unit. So this is going to be a more convenient way to work in my shop because I'm going to be doing a lot of the carving with the wood and I plan on being able to use the laser a lot as well. And this way I can just take it off easily and put it back on easily. Now the last thing that I want to do is put the JTEX Phoponics logo right here next to the X-Carve. I think that looks good. Again, I want to thank Jay at JTEC Photonics for providing me this laser. This is going to be a fantastic opportunity to be able to expand the CNC world. This is like having two machines in, in one. I've got the laser and I've got the CNC for the routing. So I really want to be able to say that this was very easy to be able to install. The instructions that were provided by the JTEC Photonics was absolutely great. But I think I went into a little bit more detail that might be able to help you out when you install your laser. So if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you won't miss out on any of the videos. I'm going to be using the CNC machine with this laser and I'm going to hopefully learn as we go and share the experiences with you and show you just how much fun using a laser added to your X-Carve can be.